That thing has been there for almost a week. The figure in the window. It looks featureless, only skin on a human frame, and it's pressing itself against the glass somehow. I don't know how it got there, and I don't know how to get rid of it. At first I thought it was a prank, a doll or a mannequin that some jerks had put there to scare me. But I realised as I walked out of my house to put it away, that there wasn't anything there. I shrugged it off, thinking someone must have hidden it while I was walking outside. But I went back in, up to my room and looked out of that same window, and there it was, looking in, staring at me. I walked around my house, yelling for whoever it was to come out, but no one was there. No one had put it there. But there it was. The thing is hairless and naked. And although it didn't look like it actually had eyes, or even a face at all, I could feel it looking at me. Its head is turned towards me when I enter the room. When I sit on my computer, I can feel its faceless hatred boring into my neck. But when I turn around, it's innocently turned in a different direction. On Thursday, I decided to try and open the window, but it was stuck. I think the thing's hands were keeping it down, but I finally got a good look at its face. Its eyes and mouth are behind the skin, pushing outward against it. It stared at me, smiling. I pulled back a fist and smashed it into the glass, determined once and for all to get rid of this glaring monster. I know I'm strong enough. That glass should have cracked. But it didn't. It shuddered under my hand, but it didn't break. And that thing's smile just got wider and wider until it looked like its head would break in half. It raised its own hand and bashed the window with its palm. It was clearly mocking me. But even from that gentle blow, I saw the faintest crack appear in the window where it had hit it, and I backed away. There was no way I wanted that thing in the same room as me. So I got a roll of duct tape, and I started covering the window. I couldn't look directly at it. I mean, I was terrified just knowing it was watching me, but I couldn't help it. I took a quick glance at that skin-covered face, just a small peek. It was angry. The menacing grin was now a gaping frown full of teeth. The skin had ripped away from its mouth and I could see down its cavernous throat. A menacing rumble started to fill my house and that hairline crack in the window began to spread like splintering ice. I pulled the duct tape off. The rumble immediately stopped. The split skin healed over and it began to smile again. Now it's night time. The noise hasn't started again. There are no sounds, no rumble, no crackling glass. Everything is quiet now, but it's gotten closer. I can feel its claws gripping the back of my chair. I can hear its skin stretching as it smiles, and it's watching me type. <laughs>